Are you planning on learning 3D modeling by yourself? 3D modeling is a super useful skill to have. Not only does it give you the ability to make any object from your own imagination, but it opens up plenty of career opportunities for you in many different industries, from film, game, medical, travel, education, you name it, pretty much every single industry out there. Whether you plan to become a professional 3D modeler one day, or just want to make a cool little 3D birthday card, or a logo for your YouTube channel, or perhaps your own animated movie, we'll look at the steps you can follow starting today so that you can become a pro 3D modeler all by yourself. The road to mastering 3D modeling can be a bumpy and frustrating one. And this was definitely the case for me many years back. If you've ever tried making 3D models on your own without any help, you'll know what I mean. In fact, this was my first ever attempt at a character model. Definitely something you'd see in nightmares. Eventually, after practicing and learning properly, I started to figure it out and managed to make something like this. And I would definitely not classify myself as a naturally gifted 3D modeler, if that's even such a thing. So it's definitely very possible if you learn the right way. Anyways, enough about me and getting back to the topic. What can you do starting today to learn and master 3D modeling so that you can build your own objects and worlds from your own imagination? The first thing you should do is pick a 3D modeling software. You can't make 3D models without 3D modeling software. I don't even think that that's even possible. So if you want to use the same kind of software the big guys from Hollywood Movie Studios are using, then go for either Maya or 3ds Max or perhaps even Cinema 4D. They are industry standard programs that can help you make those awesome 3D models like you'd see out of Pixar and DreamWorks. The software I recommend and what I personally use is Blender. Personally, I just believe it is the best free 3D modeling software in the world. And I'm not even affiliated to Blender in any way, I promise. I've been using Blender for over eight years and I've seen the program grow to levels that rivals even Maya and 3DS. It's not just me, there's a large consensus between users that Blender has perhaps the best 3D modeling toolset in the world. Even some Maya and 3DS users have said the same thing when I checked a few Reddit threads. You can make some seriously awesome graphics with the two that can look and feel Pixar. Just have a browse through Blender Artist to see the level of quality that you can potentially achieve with Blender. Once you've picked a 3D modeling software, your next step is to get comfortable with it. You should spend some time learning the basics of that software. How to navigate the software, how to work with the layout, what each of the major buttons do, how to save your work, and all that stuff. At this stage, you should also play around with the 3D modeling toolset available within your 3D modeling software. See what the software is capable of. Use it every day. Become comfortable with it. Marry it if you have to. The relationship between you and your software needs to be great as you go on this journey together. YouTube can help a lot with this. So your job for the next few weeks is to then scour YouTube and work on as much tutorials as you can. Once you're comfortable with your 3D modeling software, it's time to learn theory. You're not quite ready to tackle 3D modeling projects on your own yet, and online tutorials alone will not make you a great 3D modeler. You're just blindly copying step by step what the tutorial instructor is doing. Sorry to say that bluntly. If you're given a 3D modeling assignment, you need to be able to design and build it yourself. And so you need to put in the time to learn the theory so that you can craft your own 3D models to an awesome level of quality. Once you start gaining familiarity with 3D modeling concepts, only then will you start to gain the confidence to tackle on any 3D modeling project. In fact, you will be the one to give YouTube tutorials to other 3D modeling beginners. Learning the theory will also give you an easier time transitioning to another 3D software if your relationship doesn't ever work out. You're finally ready to start taking on 3D modeling projects. You can start this stage in conjunction with the previous stage learning 3D modeling theory if you want. This way, you learn better as you fail. The best way I've found to learn is by failing. You could learn all the theory before starting your own 3D modeling project, but it's slow and you'll probably forget some theory by the time you get to doing projects. When you work on 3D modeling projects at the same time as learning theory, 
you apply what you've learned. When something goes wrong, or you fail somewhere, it's just a matter of going back and relearning the theory and applying it again. There are online 3D communities everywhere that can help you if you get stuck. CG Society, Reddit, Blender Artists, if you're using Blender, Facebook groups, are all great places with helpful people who can take your 3D modeling skills to the next level. Try and aim to work on smaller 3D projects initially and gradually work your way up to more complex projects. Once you've had a few 3D modeling projects under your belt, you can pretty much call yourself a self-made 3D modeler. In fact, it's at this stage you'll pretty much feel like a 3D modeler yourself. You'll have the confidence to tackle 3D modeling projects on your own. By the way, if you're interested in learning Blender 2.8 and want to use it for 3D modeling, go ahead and download the Blender 2.8 modeling cheat sheet. It gives you the most important 3D modeling functions you need to know as a beginner and their shortcut keys. Print it out, stick it on your wall, and have it right there beside you whenever you need it. Click the link in the description below to download it straight away from my website. I also included a dining room scene that you can open in Blender and use in your next movie blockbuster. Enjoy!